Okay, friends and neighbors, Hunter Elliott here, RangeHot.com. I'm out here this afternoon working on another gun review. This time, we're at the 100-yard line, and I'm uh, reviewing an AR-15. Lord knows the market is saturated with AR-15s. So, for any manufacturer to be a little bit more successful, they've got to do something a little different. Well, today I'm out here with this Double D Armory. AR-15. It's a little different as far as it, this is this is a, a boutique type AR. It's a little bit on the higher end, you know. MSRP on this particular rifle runs, you know, right at two thousand dollars. One thing that makes this rifle stand out is it is machined from billet aluminum. What I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna shoot this at 100 yards with some iron sights. We're gonna get some groups. Alright there, so uh, there's my three shots at 100 yards with iron sights. couple 300 rounds through it so far I haven't cleaned it it's been running pretty good I noticed it's a little bit of mud and water in the old creek so we'll see how that works I'm gonna just kind of throw it in there step on it a little bit all right so we see it's nice and that's kind of simulated if you were just running and just dropped your rifle so what I'm going to do now is I do have a loaded mag, it's an empty chamber, I'm going to charge the chamber and I'm going to put 20 rounds down it, hard as I can go, to see if the gun still runs. Stand by. Okay, so we're back at a safe position. I've checked to make sure there's no bore obstructions. I'm going to get the debris off my sights. Can't even see the damn sights if it's muddy. All right. Now that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be pretty pretty close anyway. Man. <laughs> I got it. I should have thought that through a little bit better, but I'll try to find some clean water and rinse it off before I put it in my car. So there you go. Nice and nasty. Still works. Oh, and by the way, that was Tula ammo, which is Russian crap ammo with steel cased and lacquered and all that mess. And I would never shoot that at any rifle that I owned. Fortunately, this ain't my rifle. We threw it in the mud. We should run 20 rounds through it. It's kind of dried out a little bit, and so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot another group to see if uh, getting it muddy and hot and nasty, not cleaning it, is going to change the accuracy of the rifle at all. Iron sights, 100 yards. Got to load the rifle, Hunter Elliott. guys, here we are, Hunter Elliott, at the end of the Double D Armory SST Rifle Review. Let's talk, let's talk about what I learned over the past 600 rounds. Well, first of all, no malfunctions. In my opinion, that is the single most important aspect of any firearm. It has to be reliable. 
Now, I will say this, I treated this rifle a little bit worse than I would have treated one that I owned. But, I was trying to prove a point. You know, it, it ought to be able to run reliable if it is used and abused, especially at this price point. So, I did manage to get some CLP on the uh, bolt carrier group somewhere between 100 and 200 rounds, but I didn't do any kind of cleaning. And as you saw yesterday, we did throw it in the mud hole and run another 100 rounds through it. And it did prove to be reliable. Secondly, is it accurate? Well, the manufacturer claims to do it be a sub-MOA gun. I mounted some optics on it, and I was able to shoot. The three-shot groups with this rifle were, were fantastic. I could shoot three rounds in a single ragged hole that I could cover up with a dime. Rounds four and five, though, tend to kind of spread out a little bit. And that was pretty consistent throughout the gamut of ammunition that we run with, with the optics on it. My theory on that is, well, this is a light rifle, and though it doesn't have a pencil barrel, it certainly doesn't have a bull barrel on it. It's not a big, thick barrel. So, by the time I'm into rounds four and five, the barrel's starting to heat up a little bit. It's starting to get warm, as with any barrel. As it heats up, it gets warm. It's going to lose a little bit of its accuracy. All right, we shot a, we shot a lot of different types of ammunition through this rifle. As always, all the particulars on the ammunition and the groups it shot is going to be in a chart on rangehot.com. This is a hard anodized digital camouflage pattern. Now, Double D Armory offers a, a, a large selection of different finishes. Anytime I see stuff like this, it is pretty. I get it. Is it durable? Is it going to start wearing off and scratching off? So, you know, I had a conversation with the manufacturer, and he says, look, this particular type of anodization is just as durable as the black or whatever else you're used to seeing. So I said, okay, one of the areas that everybody knows that gets beat up right off the bat on these AR-15s is the brass deflector. So over those 600 rounds, I was watching this brass deflector to see if it could begin to start chipping off. And uh, nope, still good to go. So is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. There's a couple things about it that I didn't care for. Number one, first and foremost, at this price point, it comes with a standard type A2 birdcage flash hider. Now I get it. Everybody has their own opinion about what flash hiders they like and they don't like. Um, so I would have to imagine the type of person that's buying this rifle, their very specific type flash hider that they like, and that's what they're going to put on it. The second thing about it that, that I didn't love is it ships without sight. You know, now I also understand that a lot of people at this price point, they're going to buy a rifle. They've already got optics sitting on their loading bench waiting to put it on. This barrel, it's a 1 in 8 twist, which is, you see a lot of 1 in 7s and a lot of 1 in 9s. 1 in 8 is kind of like that, what I would say, a compromise. It, it shot everything well. Well, the heart of it, the bolt carrier group and trigger group both are nickel boron coated. The trigger is a little bit different than what I'm used to. It's, uh, it's almost like a two-stage. It's got a little bit of take up on it. Not much, a little bit of take up. You could prep that trigger and it would cleanly break about four and a half pounds. You know, you're getting a lot of features in this particular rifle. It, it lived up to all the manufacturer's claims, which is important. Unlike politicians, they can lie to you and get away with it. Manufacturer tells you something, they better be telling you straight. And uh, you know, as well as I do, that isn't always the case. But this rifle, it, it did exactly like the man that built it said it would. And for me, that's pretty important. If you've got any questions or comments, Shoot me an email, find me on Facebook, rangehot.com. Let me know what you think. I really appreciate it. You take care of yourself. Y'all be safe, look after each other, and hopefully I'll see you at the range.